and welcome to Baboonery about Ready Player One. Just got back to see it tonight and wow, just totally wow. Now I'm going to say right now, if people want spoilers, there's going to be a lot of spoilers, but there'll be a bit where you can stop the video. Because you need to get out there and see this movie at the pictures. Wow! Steven Spielberg is the greatest director of my generation and probably one of the greatest directors ever. From family classics to monumental iconic movies, franchises, history movies. The guy is an absolute machine. Nobody has accomplished what he's done. He's absolutely amazing. Now, storyline is simple. Basically, the escape of reality and escapism. There's a thing called the Oasis. People can go in this and be whatever they want and basically, you know, like escape the life that is now there. But the guy who created it had died a few years before. And basically, he's left three Easter eggs or three keys and an Easter egg in this oasis and if you find it the oasis becomes yours and everyone in the world and corporations are trying to get it that's all you need to know go into the pictures knowing that and just get ready to because as soon as this film starts it does go 100 miles an hour and it's absolutely awesome special effects are awesome storylines great and then you've got the nostalgia and this is where you want to stop this video if you don't want to spoil the, the references and nostalgia nostalgia again are spotted in this video so straight away you've got stuff like back to the future you've got the DeLorean fighting in there, you've got the Bigfoot bloody car, you've got an insane chase. The nostalgia just goes out the window straight away. It's just like, here we go. Any nerds out there, this is the nerd film of the decade, the millennium ever, the greatest nerd film ever. Now, apologies for the lighting because I just need to be in every different angle going on right now. Straight off the bat, one of my greatest heroes ever, King Kong, turns up and he is one of the levels in it. You've got to get past the T-Rex. The T-Rex from Jurassic Park and it's a T-Rex from Jurassic Park and it's just like, what is this T-Rex from Jurassic Park? And then you've got to get past King Kong and it's actually King Kong. That's amazing, absolutely amazing. There is cameos and references to all kinds of things from video games to iconic classic heroes like Jason Voorhees is in this. I was just, wow, you're trying to look everywhere and I was just proper, wow. Meta Godzilla turns up and it's just like, wow. Thundercats are in this, wow. There's weird posters for like Beastmaster and you think, wow. There's just some unbelievable stuff in this. Even when they say like go into battle and I'm just gonna try to spoil the film, but when they go to battle, the fucking gremlins turn up to take on the fucking bad guys. I was just, they stripe, wow. And he was just watching this film going, where's E.T.? Where's E.T.? I'm, I'm sure E.T. will be in here somewhere. There's loads of amazing mental coming. Oh, well, he's not obviously in it, am I? But yeah, there's loads of cameos and weirds. It's just mint. Fucking Aliens is in this. It's just like, wow. Big Trouble and Little China's in this. It's just like, wow. And I do not look like a little pine pole. The fucking turtles are in this. And they're fighting. And it's just like, wow. I'm literally looking around my room now going, this is just like, unbelievable film. This film, wow. I don't think Ed 209 was in it, but wow. The King Kong bit was just wow. It was like, the ride, it was just wow. Too many wows in this movie. And then one of the things I loved about the movie was all the upgrades where they'll like have bombs and stuff like that. They chuck at people, they buy stuff, and then loads of different, like wiping loads of people out. And then one of them chucks one thing. And next thing you know, Chucky pops up, and it's like, it's fucking Chucky. The fuck word in Steven Spielberg. And he just goes around killing everybody. Like, what the fuck? This film is insane. Once again, if you haven't seen this, go and see it. It's amazing. I know there's plenty of videos on... YouTube of all the Easter eggs. Obviously, there's a lot of piracy copies out this already, but at least I'm doing something a little bit different using stuff I've got in this crazy Everyone's been wanting a room tour video. So, yeah, this is the best you're going to get for now. I can't believe the turtles were in. That was amazing. And then there is an amazing bit with the shining. You know, the elevators in it, the creepy girls are in it. There's axes swinging everywhere. It's absolutely 80s nostalgia, 90s nostalgia. There probably was some Lost Boys references in there. I did see a mock-up poster, but it's got everything. Everything. Tom Hanks should have been in it, though. He should have been the bad guy. I know what you're thinking. Tom Hanks? But yeah, Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg go way back. And you know what I mean? They could have... How can you spell Steven Spielberg's name wrong on VHS? Well done, Universal. There's just loads and loads of stuff in this movie, hidden away in the background. Check this film out. It's definitely worth watching. And I, I just really want to go and see it straight away again. And that right, Gizmo. Gizmo's not happy because I didn't see Gizmo in it. But, you know, at least you've got Chucky in it, you know. So definitely check out Ready Player One. Buckaroo Bonsai? How can I forget about Buckaroo Bonsai being a big part of it? You're probably wondering why I'm dressed like this as well, eh? Well, Pulp Fiction. Don't think there was any kind of reference to Pulp Fiction and Bananas, but you know what? Ready Player One. There we go. Bananas. Bananas, people. So what did you think of Ready Player One? It was awesome. E.T. will be in there somewhere. I need to watch it again. Yeah.
watch again to look out for. It was at the start an ambulance, his little finger. <laughs> E.T. 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 Yeah. Oh, um, this is an outtake for um, Retro. Retro. Ready Player One, but um, the few band playing in the background. It was just us two sitting here, then all of a sudden they multiply like gremlins. Just like they're on Ready Player One, look. We were sitting in that corner. So yeah, hope you enjoy Ready Player One, and we're going to enjoy whatever's going on.